Now we need to combine these two graphs for different ranges of x. So this is x axis. Now we have to plot the given function which is x square minus exponential minus x square. Welcome to Paper Muni. Uh, today we'll discuss the plot of x square to the power exponential to the power minus x square. Now in this kind of graphs you always remember that say if you have been given a function which is uh, a fun which is equal to the function multiplied by exponential function now this can be a, is a polynomial and this is the exponential function so if if you find this kind of plot which is what we have here then always remember these two things that for small values of x fx is proportional to the polynomial now this means that like for small values of x one should remember that it could be it uh, it's near zero like 0 0.1 0 0.2 less than 1 right so in that case the function the total function will depend on the values of the polynomial the exponential part will be very negligible the contribution for the from the exponential part will be negligible for large values of x fx is proportional to exponential to the power minus x square in this case the large values means that this will dominate large values means like 2 3 4 5 this these x equal to these values 10 so if you put this uh, values here you will find out that the contribution this word affects the function more than this part whether it will be low, lower values but that doesn't matter the only thing that matters is this will contribute more to this function at large values of x now if in this case you have been given that sorry in this case you have been given the fx is x square e to power minus x square now if if you have large values of x so for large values of x for large values of x what we have is the function will depend on its power of from value x equal to 1 and for small values of x small values of x the fx will be proportional to x square in this case now we need to combine these two graphs of a plot for exponential minus x square and to the power minus x square and fx x square so what is happening here is we'll draw the graph of x square which is a parabola all right and the graph this is a parabola passing through the origin now the other graph is that of a exponential function which looks like this it's a bell-shaped curve you will come across this graph many times uh, this is called the Gaussian Gaussian curve or bell shaped curve right now we need to combine these two graphs for different ranges of x so this is x axis now we have to plot the given 
function which is x square minus exponential minus x square in this for small values of x this fx depends on this function depends on x square so for small values means near zero so we'll have the parabola all right so this is this region in this case fx is proportional to x square all right now in large values of for large values of x it follow it should follow this graph so this graph will look like this this part the function is proportional to exponential and on this part also the same behavior because this is a even function so it is symmetric about y axis this is the y axis so if there is the graph goes like this it has to come down then there should be a maximum value somewhere in this region also there will be some maximum value so this is how the graph looks like for the x square to the power x square multiplied by x exponential minus x square thank you for watching have a great day you, if you find these uh, lectures useful then please uh, like like subscribe and uh, share with your friends